could you please discuss an appropriate dewarming schedule for the first two years of life, including discussion on developing natural resistance to parasites by not administering dewormer prior to a certain age? So first off, is Rachel here? Okay, so Rachel, you know how to get your question answered because Dr. Gray loves talking about deworming, so. <laughs> Perfect. I think I want to go with the last part of that question first. Um, can you read it again? Yes, so, so the last sure part it. was discussion on developing natural resistance to parasites by not administering dewormer prior to a certain age. So I don't want to put you on the spot or embarrass you, but what the heck, it's live. Um, <laughs> That would be like, that would be a myth because I went to the source of all things deworming and parasite control and it's the AAEP, they have guidelines for parasite control from like all ages. They talk about all chemical classes, all different kinds of worms. They talk about fecal egg counts. It's, it's all there spelled out. It's like a 92 page document and I read it for this evening um, and I printed out the page on the young horses. but. They, they say that young horses should have, at a minimum, four treatments in their first year of life. Mm. And there's not, there's not a, um, the concept of not showing the young horse a dewormer when they're young to, to teach their immune system is, is like the opposite is true. So you want to, the, the young horses would be considered high shedders. <laughs> so the most damaging to your facility and you, you need to deworm them like they're high shedder. So I'm gonna read this part to make sure I get it right. Um, the first deworming should be carried out about two to three months of age. And that's with the benzimidazole. Because the worm of interest with a young horse is the roundworm, or the ascarid. And your ivermectins and moxidectins are the roundworms have now become resistant. Hmm. So we have to use something else and so that's a benzimidazole. Um, the next deworming, the second one, is recommended just before weaning and the assumption is that it happens in the four to six months age range. The third and fourth dewormings are at nine months and 12 months. So about every three months you deworm your baby through that first year of life. Now they want the first fecal, fecal egg count, um, at weaning also. Because what's important is, see, the, your young horse mainly has the concern, the worm, worm of concern is the roundworm of the escort. As they age, the worm of concern becomes the strongjaw, specifically the small strongjaw. You start doing fecal egg counts in that first year of life to know when to stop using benzimidazoles and start using ivermectins and moxidectin for the small strongjaws, because you can see in the fecals the eggs. So early on, the fecals will have roundworm eggs, primarily. And as the young horse ages, the worm eggs in the fecal will turn to strongel eggs. And when that happens, you can throw out your benzimidazoles, give them away for Christmas presents, because they're, <laughs> well, they're useless in the young horse, right? You'll be so popular in the You'll barn. be so popular. <laughs> and, then, and then start using your ivermectins and moxidectins. But it's really, really important to deworm the young horse at least four times because they are contaminating your facility. They're filling it up with eggs and you're, they're making every other young horse, um, they're infecting all the other horses, young and old alike. So the young horse isn't like building up an immunity or something by not developing, by not getting a dewormer. Correct, yeah. Can you say that again? I was, that was actually really well said. So Thanks. I know, here you go. It's feeling can, you, can you say it again? So, <laughs> hopefully not. <laughs> So a young horse is not going to build up an immunity by not having a dewormer. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Did we, did we say that right? Okay. Okay. So yeah. So that's, that's deworming the young horse. That first year of life is really, really important. So we did talk about the first, she wants to know the first two years though. So well, <laughs> not to be greedy because that was a great answer. But that's what the fecal leg count then tells you. Cause after and then at that point, on, yeah, at some point, if you keep doing fecal on a young horse, you figure out when they change over to um, primarily strongiles, which is the worm of concern in the adult mature horse and not so much roundworms. When that happens, you can start giving mm -hmm. the ivermectin and moxidectin. The fecal will also tell you, is that young horse, so now it's in year two, a, a high shedder or low shedder. If it's a high shedder, 
you continue to deworm frequently, a low shedder can be dewormed once or twice a year. So. Hope for a low shedder. <laughs> low shedder. So, yeah, that's, that's be, be the first year and the second year. This, but the, it's all about monitoring. It's called um, fecal surveillance. Surveillance and strategic deworming because of the whole resistance.